In the latest episode of Hackers Gone Wild, cyber scammers have unleashed a cunning phishing campaign that is attempting to swipe Instagram users' backup codes faster than a 21-year-old on Tinder. <laughs> These cyber tricksters are so bold that they're not just fishing for compliments, they're fishing for your two-factor authentication codes. <laughs> Trustwave analysis recently stumbled upon this digital drama, where the attackers are posing as Meta, Instagram's parent company. What better way to spice up your phishing attack than impersonating a social media giant? It's like the hackers getting dressed up for Halloween and deciding to go as Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> the nefarious email informs users of alleged copyright infringement complaints against their Instagram accounts. Who knew your sunset photos were so controversial? <laughs> the unsuspecting victim is then urged to click on an appeal form to clear their name. It's like being invited to a party where the only thing on the menu is trouble. <laughs> Clicking the appeal form button is like opening a Pandora's box of digital deception. The poor user is taken to a wild ride through a series of fake meta portals that make Disney World Space Mountain seem like a leisurely stroll in the park. The grand finale? A request for not one, but two servings of your username and password, topped off with an eight-digit backup code cherry on the fishing Sunday. <laughs> In the grand tradition of cyber shenanigans, this phishing escapade proved the hackers not only mastered the art of deception, but are vying for roles in the next big Hollywood thriller. <laughs> Move over Ocean's Eleven, there's a new crew in town. The Cyber Swindlers, bringing the world to the heist of the century one Instagram backup code at a time. <laughs> so, dear internet Denzians, consider this your friendly reminder. Don't let the cyber carnival fool you. Keep these backup codes close and your sense of scepticism even closer. <laughs> After all, in a world of phishing, the only thing more vulnerable than your data is a good laugh at the expense of those who try to trick you. <laughs> well, there is somebody else who also got tricked. In a groundbreaking case that could have had Siri applying for a mortgage, a US computer scientist faced a crushing defeat in his attempt to convince the UK that he had a legitimate artificial intelligence named Davis. It was not just a glorified calculator, but a bona fide inventor deserving of patented rights. Sorry, Davis, no patent party for you. <laughs> Stephen Thaler had dreams of his artificial intelligence offspring becoming the Elon Musk of the patent world, but the UK's Intellectual Property Office IPO shut the silicon dream down faster than you can say, bite me. <laughs> Spokesperson, ever the diplomat, admitted that there had been legitimate questions about how the patent system should handle AI creations. Perhaps a new category for artificially inventive entities could be in order. Imagine a world where your Roomba becomes a knight and inventor. Sir sucks a lot, if you will. <laughs> Ravinda Jagdev, bringing a bit of sanity to the proceedings, clarified that the judgement doesn't mean humans can't use AI to invent things. So if you ever asked Alexa for a genius idea and got something more profound than ordering a pizza, fear not. You can still claim the glory and patents for yourself. In the grand scheme of things, this case might be a missed opportunity for the world of AI. We can only imagine Davis sitting in a corner sulking like a teenager who didn't get the latest smartphone. Don't worry Davis, you may not have patent rights, but you'll always have a special place in our hearts. Or at least in the recycle bin of failed AI dreams. <laughs> On that note, good night. <laughs>